I'm Craig. I'm Brian. And we're with Three Bowl Brewing, and today we're going to show you how we clean our fermenters. I'm even going to get inside while it's running and show you well, how it works. I'm not. I don't know why. <laughs> Okay, so what we have is inside all our fermenters, we have what you call a CIP ball. Um, CIP is the, uh, what is it? It's the word I'm looking, it's not an abbreviation. Clean in place? Yeah, it's clean in place. But what do you call that? Never mind. It's clean in place. We're going to clean, we, what we want to do is clean this fermenter in place. We don't want to get up there and scrub a lot. These things get really dirty, a lot of protein, dried up protein in these things. So. Uh, we heat up water to about 175 degrees. We add our caustic solution. Not and, now, we're not. But not no, not today. But all right, this is our caustic. This is what we do use. It's a uh, brew clean. We get it from Westmar here in the Pacific Northwest. Uh, we pop it up like that. Pumped it so bit. Somebody told me that this stuff is really slimy and a guy says, you know, it's not really slimy. What you're feeling is your skin peeling off your fingers. So you definitely want to be wearing uh, safety glasses and rubber gloves when you work with this stuff. It's very caustic. Um, for the fermenters, we use a 2% solution. So we're doing about 15 gallons. So we're going to add uh, uh, 13 ounces per five gallons. That's what we're going to be using. So it's not a lot, but that's at 2%. When we do our keg cleaning, we clean our kegs at 1%. So that's it for the caustic, just to give you a little heads up on that. And now back to the video. That pump out goes up to this and into the CIP and it just keeps recircling. And then on a fermenter that's uh, just totally dirty, uh, we'll run it for about 15 minutes. And it's like your dishwasher at home. You know, you can throw a dirty plate in there and uh, basically what's happened, we're doing the same thing. We're just getting the, um, all that protein off the inside of that fermenter. This thing better be waterproof. <laughs> you need a ladder. Yeah. I do need a ladder. <laughs> there you go. Okay, so here's the CIP ball. Um, the CI poot ball it rotates really fast uh, we got really hot liquid coming down in there um, we got these little slits in it I get our CIP balls from glacier tanks they're pretty good this is Brian getting in that fermenter we never I've been in that fermenter one time actually not I've never been in that fermenter but I've been in that old one that's got a bigger door on it look at Brian he's doing a good job good job Brian got Brian's gonna go in there and inspect RCAP ball. We're going to do a little inspection on it. How's it doing? It's kind of warm in here. Is it? <laughs> no. So, made my way inside. Um, got my um, waterproof hunting suit on. Um, we're definitely going to put it to the test. Not like I haven't actually used it in wet conditions already, but uh, this should be the ultimate test for it. And. Um, yeah, it should be a lot of fun. <laughs> it's raining. I mean, that ain't that bad. As I say, our pee ball right there. That's the little monster that does all the work. Oh, it just sprays water like everywhere. Up, on the sides, down spins around. It just throws a lot of water everywhere. Um, what it's supposed to do, I guess, it's a container, you know, it's a vessel. It needs to get everywhere to clean it properly. I'm just going to drink some beer here and um, it drops a lot of water everywhere. It's just like I'm out in the woods. 
How's your rain gear holding up? It actually feels pretty good so far. I guess I won't know until I really get out how wet I'm gonna be, if I'm gonna even be wet. Hopefully not, it's really wet. Like, everywhere. It's like you can't get away from it. It goes everywhere. I mean, it's running down the side walls of the tank. It's coming down the middle of the tank. It's everywhere. Did I tell you it's really wet in there? <laughs> you have wet underwear? Is your crotch wet? I don't think so. Well, I want to get some shots of this. Are you talking to each other while you're doing it? All right. There you go. Put, put your boots right there. All right. Come on. It's almost like you need to go face first. That's a big ass, sir, Felsky. All right, you're out. That's soaking. All right, so I'm going to give you a little right. back. That ain't bad. Well, how was it? Looks like you're having a good time in there. <laughs> Looks Hard fun. to drink a beer. Yeah. Right. And it's the first time you got to see the inside of a fermenter like that. Yep. With Hopefully, the water. Probably the last time, too. Um, yeah, tight spot. Um, and really wet. But you know what? Hunting outfit worked out great. I'm dry. So what we'll do now is after that, uh, after the wash, we throw the rinse on the same ball, rinse it out, and, you know, this is really the most important part of brewing, right? Right. As far as I'm concerned, it, the most important thing is keeping things clean, especially in a, in a wart, when you're introducing the yeast with the wart, that vessel has to be spotless and very clean. I agree. And yep. um, what else we got? Uh, like and subscribe. Like and subscribe to see more videos in the future. Like and subscribe to see more videos in the future. Right. Um, cheers. Cheers. Is that good? <laughs>